Good afternoon everyone, my name's Ian and this is going to be a video on how vehicle to home works. In some ways it's very similar to how vehicle to grid works actually, um, but instead of the energy from the battery pack of the leaf going to the grid, it's just being consumed by the home. So the home's doing the load, well the charger's doing the load matching uh, based on uh, what's, what the, the, the home is calling for. So I want to highlight a few things. I want to show you the charger, kind of how simple it is for those who don't have the Indra unit at least. Um, and then also how you do some of the basic controls. Uh, I think I mentioned in, already in some of the posts that there is no ability to do any software at this time uh, in terms of any schedule changes. That's all handled by Indra themselves. That I believe is coming. So soon we hopefully will have an interface which allows us to have the flexibility over how the unit performs. But in the meantime, it really is a matter of plug it in, hit the on or off button if you're taking it out. Um, and that's it the rest is is handled by itself but obviously there's some intricacies in terms of how the unit actually behaves um ct clamps specifically so i'm going to show you a, a bit of the, the 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 wiring hopefully it's not too messy inside the cabinet outside the house um and uh, go from there so hopefully you find this useful um if you do have any questions then please do uh, let me know do do raise the, uh, the the points in the in the posts and I, I try to demystify as, as much of this as possible. It really isn't as black box as it might seem. Um, but yeah, let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Thank you for your continued support. Really much appreciated. All right, so car plugged in, CHAdeMO adapter. Not using the Type 2 there, obviously. Just CHAdeMO. Lights on the dash, flashing away, as usual. Got two chargers here. I'm gonna start first of all with slower well i say slow it's the faster one but it's the dumber one of the two really it's a seven kilowatt um smart plus charger which i got from charge dv actually i, I got it especially because the uh, cosmetics effectively it looks very similar to the injury unit um just obviously plug it in it does what it does it's uh pretty pretty dumb in that sense but that one has got obviously a cable connected to this one this is the biggie the V2G charger. You can see it's exporting steadily at the moment. Um, you know, it's the box actually on the bottom there, the black one. That's a Mat E earthing box. I think Ovo were the ones who preferred customers to to have that. Um, I don't believe Indra liked customers having that because it kept causing more issues with the unit. But I think it was all about all around safety. Anyway, it came included, so hence the reason I've got it. Anyone who's buying second-hand units might get both of those units together. Um, you see a slight glaze on mine. Um, I spoke to Indra about that. I've got a replacement panel for it already. Apparently it's DIY. So when we move house in a couple of months, I'll be um, probably changing the panel at that time. In terms of the buttons, because people have asked about the control that you have with this unit, um, the on off button pretty straightforward if I hit the off button now the unit will just stop working um, the car can stay plugged in it won't export and then it will start pulling from grid um, with it on basically whatever battery power is left in the in the in the leaf it will continue to export and it's exporting all the way down to 10% at the moment um, I believe there are talks about trying to get that increased up to 30% but I'm noticing in the winter or the colder months on a 40 kilowatt hour leaf 10% um, is favorable because I would use more than, I think more than 30% on an average day uh, in terms of what's left in the battery pack. The boost, quite simply, um, if you want to leave it connected and you want to charge it, um, instead of just having it exporting, boost will put electrons into the battery pack at six kilowatts. Um, that's the rate of what the um, energy will flow down the cable in. and. Uh, yeah, but you don't probably want to do that if you're on the Octopus Go Faster tariff where you've got five hours, which is what we've got um, overnight to charge at just over eight pence uh, a unit versus 32 pence a unit um, in the off-peak rates. So I, I have to be desperate if I'm boosting um, on this, I think, at home. In terms of the other units that we've got, this one down here is a switch box. Again, it was installed by Ovo. It was mandated again if you had more than one charger and to be honest, the, the vehicle to grid original trial, there were quite a few units that were having errors and you needed a backup plan, which is kind of why it was recommended 
to have you know, this, for me at least, the Smart Plus charger, so I could switch if I ever needed to. That never really happened. I never really needed to use it for that purpose. Um, but it is nice every so often to AC charge the car instead of DC charge, and that's effectively the, the probably the biggest difference as to why I might still use the seven kilowatt today. Um, but this was just an isolator. It was one one charger on at a time. I believe now you can do away with this box. So again, when we move house, we won't be having this um, switch installed. We'll just have both these boxes on at the same time. And then they'll, they'll basically load balance on demand and supply. So there shouldn't be any issues with that. Black box, magic tricks. No, nothing of what's going on inside there. Just as a bunch of wires. Separate consumer unit for the charger. Obviously got the main one for the house. This one has got its own, and then obviously the meter box, a bit messy in here, apologies. Anyone who suffers from OCD on this is going to hate all of these wires. A um, Couple of things, first of all, to point out, vehicle to grid chargers. Um, I think a lot of people needed at least an 80 amp battery. I've actually got 100 amp in here. I don't know why that's missing a label. It came already with the house when we moved in, it was already 100 amps, but there are lots of people who are getting their um, their uh, main main fuse, main home fuse, house fuse, upgraded free of charge, I might add, but they only seem to go to 80 amps, not to 100 like I've got in here. Um, this is my, I forget what this is called now. Uh, those of you who are electricians will know what this is called, but anyway, this is splitting, some like a mod block or something, it's splitting. Um, my supply for um, the two uh, two chargers that I've got. Uh, we've got obviously the CT clamps and also got the harvest down here for my energy. So I'm running the Eddy, my energy. I'm, I'm obviously not running with the Zappi. Um, so I've got my surplus solar heating my hot water. That's what the Eddy is being used for, but that's, that's one of the devices that will be used to harvest the energy and report on that in the app. CT clamp here, CT clamp here, both of those are my energy. Solar Edge CT clamp here. I've got the uh, Modbus controller in the in the garage along with the inverter. And then a couple of the Indra um, CT clamps here, monitoring energy in and monitoring energy out. Um, also, another box here, which was installed, but that is for my solar. That is not for vehicle to grid or vehicle to home. So I think that's pretty much it in terms of the wiring. I don't think there's anything really more to show on that front, but if you've got any questions, feel free to ask. Hope it was useful. Thanks.